some of that be demonstrated again here. We will probably not see Sonic's dash attack. Sonic's dash attacks a lot in Ultimate because it's so much better. I mean, that I remember that was one of the first moves. I was like, whoa, when I first saw the, uh, the Lila or whatever. Lila, come on. Come oh on, Lila. Please, no Lila. Please, please, let's no start Lila. Come on. Show us something a little fun. Actually, I'm not playing. Yeah, that's let's what I'm see saying, some dude. I'm cheering for Lila. Let's see some Lila. Yeah, Lilat was crazy too. in this game because the ship moves. It does. <laughs> could not turn hazards off in this game, which was kind of a blessing because we didn't really have any stageless uh, conflicts. We yeah! Too much options, so. oh yeah! Wow. Let's go! No PS2. We got Lilat now, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no PS2 allowed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, honestly, I'll take a uh, Lilat music over Smashville music or <laughs> Any Town day. City music for that matter. <laughs> any day. I'm pretty surprised because, I mean, Sonics is not going to have any trouble recovering, but Rosa on certain angles could get messed up. So I I'm surprised we uh, went here in terms of just like the buzz letting it go here, but may maybe Rosa's recovery is better than I thought Three, on this stage. Three, two, one, go! Oh, you got yeah, the I'm thinking maybe just down, hiding Thank under you. those. I practice it all the time. <laughs> I think maybe just Rosa hiding under those platforms is so good. Like being able to use the side B uh, with Luma there while hiding under those platforms might be good for her. And then of course, you know, Sonic's having some places to land with uh, with up B out of disadvantage. There's some benefits there. Yep. Well, today almost 7,000 right. viewers are gathered to watch. This is uh, our, our farewell to this series. Again, for those new viewers who have no idea what's going on. It looks like Ultimate, but it's not. That's because it's Smash 4, AKA Ultimate Beta. The servers will shut down officially in less than a week. I think in four days, they will shut down forever, uh, rendering online play for both the Wii U and 3DS titles obsolete. And uh, we figured it was time to have one last uh, sponsored big tournament for two grand. Thanks get for your four glory matches in now. Ooh, yeah. Get, get, get your, get your, uh, uh, your, your salty, sweet matches. I love I love just seeing Sonic sit on the exact edge of the stage, just charging Spin Dash. Uh, for those of you do, who don't know, that first little hop that he does out of Spin Dash is completely invincible in this game, so it will beat out everything. Uh, so if you're seeing Sonic just chill at the edge of the stage there, or even run into the opponent's shield like that, um, and then Spin Dash, just such a good option. Yeah, there is no unit collision, so fast characters, speed is so much more broken, like just mobility in general, just because you can do run-through mix-ups. And Sonic also has the tech on deck. You kind of see a little wave dash backwards after some of the spin moves there. That is a Sonic tech. Saw Sonic's grinding that on uh, Twitter as well, so definitely cool to see it in bracket. But Sonic's, was Sonic a is. top player in Smash 4, or am I, am I forgetting? Like, I don't remember him uh, being... Like a tip top player. No. He just got uh, really just good. Just because at the game. I, I think he couldn't really travel. Like, uh, uh, he was mopping people on Wi Fi, like, oh, just, okay. just so destroying people a lot. But he was, he was a lot younger and. Yeah, yeah exactly. I see. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Sonic's, like, if he was able to travel, he would have been just another, you know, young, up and coming player. Probably would have ended up being the best Sonic player. Yeah. Ooh, just punching Luma in the face, not actually killing her there. <laughs> oh, nice grab from the buzz, forward throw. Get him out of there. Yeah, I'm surprised DeBuzz has the confidence to go for some of those grabs. He can just grab Sonic out of Spin Dash there sometimes, but on Wi-Fi, that timing is real tough. Apparently, he dominated DR, but he couldn't travel for him shot. Good up smash DeBuzz with the first stock. And close bets on that. There we go. Sonic's coming in with the ultimate fair. Fair was not used that much in uh, Smash 4. Fair obviously really Yeah, it was definitely a lot more of a back air game, game for, for Sonic. Yeah, or just just keep spinning. <laughs> That's infinite. I, I, another reason why I'm surprised that uh, we went here is this is now I'm starting to remember this is a really good Sonic stage because you could charge and on the edges of the stage and since the edges are lower, it was harder to. It's already hard to approach Spin Dash, but when you have to even lower your moves even more to catch Sonic, but the Buzz is doing a really good job of zoning there's the jabs. Oh wow, we saw Dash. And yeah, this is where it starts to get real scary knowing that the, the Buzz has this much rage and Sonic is starting to near some of those percents where, you know, you get hit by a weird stray move by Luma, who is the, the real criminal in this kit. Um, yeah, it, it's it's real scary if you're Sonic here. There's a reason they called the Buzz the wall in Smash 4. 
Once you got to him, only a few people ever got through. Oh, wow. And the Buzz definitely got DI mix there on the forward throw. Okay, the Lunar Lining back air. Back Movement from sides here. is so clean, too. Just the, the spin shots, that using every tool at his disposal to make sure he can make a recovery recovery safely to avoid Luma. He's starting something up here. Yeah, and in this game, we don't see, or at least in this particular matchup, we're not seeing Sonics get the usual, like, 50% plus cash outs. Felt like this in this game, it was more like 20 to 30% cash outs, and then you reposition for neutral. Scoops underneath. Up air, or back of kill, goes underneath Lilat. Back to ledge. <laughs> and now 1 minute and 13 seconds left on the clock. Remember, with me spectating and, and SDing, the timer is actually closer to 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So these games actually go to time pretty often this, in this case. Maybe that was the secret the whole time. 5 minute, 30 second timer. It's true. <laughs> we had so many debates about that. Oh, up air again. 52 seconds left. Yeah, even stocks here, so Sonic can get a handful of openings here, but gonna have to start doing it soon, and you kind of see the buzz just ready to down tilt a lot of these openings while the multi hit actually messing up. Oh no, the oh straight Luma! Oh my god. Oh, that's it! Game yeah. one, the buzz yeah. with the down air. Wow. And my switch fell asleep right there. <laughs> Dang. Luma oh, down air is so strong. Even the switch is fall, or the, the Wii U is We call the switch, dude. We're all, <laughs> we're all just geeked out. <laughs> That was a good call out though on the early up B. So, I mean, in that situation, Sonic can go for an early up B or just go for the ledge snap up B. Rosa down air was so good in this game or like Rosa plus Luma down air. And really watch out for when the buzz is on the ledge with Luma because ledge jump down air was really strong in this game because Luma would teleport to Rosa when doing the ledge jump down air. So it, it was just such a huge hitbox you could throw out up and over your opponent. All right. Sonics will not pick the stage. Lilat did not quite work for the strike. I assume it's, it's it's a question, right? Do you want to go FD for the space, or do you want to go Battlefield to actually shrink it in? I think the Buzz actually is the one benefiting from more space here in some ways, so I'm not surprised that he's actually going Battlefield here. Kind of the opposite thing you would expect from Ultimate in terms of how to kind of pick this character. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's sure. certainly a little bit interesting there. Um... Yeah, and I know that Sonics loves having a little bit of room there to, you know, land out of those up Bs so he can use them a little bit more to get out of disadvantage. And, you know, with him just being so proficient with his movement too, um, having those <laughs> there platforms to move around with are definitely going to help him out a little bit there. Um, yep, yep. And, you know, those blast zones are a little bit farther away, so you're not going to get hit by, you know, some crazy Rosa jank, which is nice too. Go, also, we'll, Hbox, we'll, go! Sorry, I keep we'll need you. <laughs> I was watching every second counts. I was watching the, actually. Tw the, the, the tweak clip <laughs> he posted from 2018. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, and I mean, in a in a matchup like this, it is the first stock is so 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 important. Who kills Luma immediately there? That's really good from Sonic's here. Luma's dead. And it feels Couple like if he, if he can read Sonic's drifting to ledge with a downer, it might just be an early stock. Another reason I love two stock as spectator is because like once you lose it, it's just like your, your last stock. One mistake, your last stock. To me, it, it makes a it game is certainly like this. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know what's what's the right word. Slow paced in a way compared to other Smash games, it makes it very interesting and still strenuous in some ways. Yeah, it, it certainly feels like anything could happen in a lot of the games. Um, like even if you took or got your first stock taken in a lot of games, y you could just bring it back so quickly because you know you're always at the most at a one stock deficit. Um, so it was exciting in that sense for sure. Right. Yeah, this game was all about just not losing your stock early because ra you you wanted to get value from your rage, and it could end up like someone holds on to their two stocks and their high percent, and they kind of cheese you early on your second stock because you lost your first stock, or like Locus was saying, you just make sure you take out their first stock and then you'll have rage for the second stock. And so a lot of the times it'll put you in the advantage as long as you had enough time. Stacking it up. Luma also able to, to take a lot more hits in this game, I feel. She's harder to kill. 
Yeah, definitely has some weird properties too, where like, you know, sometimes your moves will clank with her and sometimes, you know, she'll just go right through your moves. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, how those interactions are going to go in a lot of cases, um, it, unless you're really comfortable with Rosa and playing against her. Right. Yeah, we usually see the buzz zone most characters out in most matchups with the jab, but we're actually seeing down tilt specifically used more here in the Sonic matchup. Man, poor, poor Sonic dash attack. Got reversal for trying to hit Lula. Every time I see one of those moves where, where DeBuzz is dragging uh, Luma to himself there, I, I'm always expecting some some crazy stuff to happen. And the up air will do it there. Yeah, eventually you get Rosa to 160. That's a real nice clean way to take that stock. And also really utilizing the intangibility. You saw Sonic's delay the uh, spin dash just a tad bit and just invincible through Luma down tilt and was able to connect that spin dash. So I know you pointed that out earlier, Locus. So that's going to be really, really important oh! in terms of just timing. Uh-oh, watch out. I, I keep forgetting that you can just die for any reason here. Like, I just need to it out there. 10%. And Sar yeah, Sonic's Sarver's doing a great job. The range. Yeah, just getting off ledge there. Um, okay, does have the double jump there. There, there is a. I don't know. Is that is that glitch still in Smash uh, Ultimate as well, where you Which can't one? use your double jump if you, um, if you spin dash in the air in this game and then you try and uh, double jump. Oh, how does this work? Can we bring back Sunset um, Battlefield, please? This is so pro. Look at the background. It's so nice. It's beautiful. It's definitely the best battlefield. Wow, it's a lot still alive. Game. But yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, because I'm not too sure how it works in this game, but... Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Getting a lot of damage back here on the Luma, that's going to be yeah. it. Yeah. It's always interesting to me what DeBuzz does when Luma's gone, because you, you certainly want to run away and you do want to, you know wait until she comes back, but at the same time, if you get a little opening there, you do have to kind of try and make something happen. I, I remember back in Smash 4, the bug would love to do neutral air dodge. There it is. Just because you could do it multiple times and then change your drift because uh, Rosa would just be not visible, right? Right. Ooh, there goes another Luma. Four minutes have passed and Sonic's only at 132 with still both stocks. Looks like the Battlefield counter pick was really, really effective in the counter playing DeBuzz's defense. Back air. Still alive. Yeah, Sonic's is covering these platforms so well. There's the Ooh. air dodge. That back air is so meaty with the rage. And I mean, so there is a situation where we kind of see Sonic gets the lead and then the buzz tried to reach X so many times. Sonic's had rage center stage with the back air just completely blowing up Rosa. And I think we just saw a very nice, uh, just Sonic's really executing well on destroying Luma. I mean, I felt like that second stock, the buzz didn't really get much playtime with Luma at all. No. Nope. Yeah, and Charles, with, with what you said earlier there, you know, that first stock being so impactful there, you know, like Sonic's taking that first stock, it, it just felt like it was a completely different matchup we were watching. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe Sonic likes the platforms because after hitting Luma, Luma will end up on the platform and maybe he can line up back airs or something. I'm, I don't know the whole idea behind it. Or maybe it's just a comfort pick. Maybe we're just thinking too far into it and Sonic's like, yeah, I just I kind of like Battlefield, you know? <laughs> Sonic's DSR band Lilat Smashville is out. The buzz goes back to Battlefield. Wow, running it back. Running it back? Surprised, but maybe it's just one one stage they both enjoy. I know historically. Yeah, I mean, if you... Oh, yeah, go ahead, Lucas. So oh, I know yeah, sorry, historically. No, oh, okay, yeah, you go. No, you go. You go. <laughs> okay. You guys both clanked um... commentary shields three times. <laughs> Incredible. Dude, we just. Um, this I was game. just gonna say it could it. be that. Uh... <laughs> you know that he just thinks it is more about that first stock or whatever it happens to be um and if it is just more about that first stock and you know sometimes you, you lose that lead and then it's like i have to approach and i'm rosa like what what do i do with that um so that could be what DeBuzz is thinking here or possibly a character switch do i see my boy cloud up there oh i think you're right i, think I see my boy cloud the buster sword's coming oh! out dang the buzz has had enough wow. this, this is the i've had enough pick the man of the and hour yeah, when you're sick, when you're just sick of dumb Smash 4 things, 
you bring out the cloud. I'm, Let's see it. Let's hey, screw it, man. Top tiers exist for a reason. Here we go. <laughs> this matchup is so funny too. Uh, cloud in this game, uh, you know, keeping limit forever. Um, if he doesn't want to use it, can just use it for that movement speed buff. Um, so it's definitely one of those characters that can actually keep up with Sonic and, and stop him from landing in you know comfortable ways. So I'm curious how DeBuzz does here. Yeah, and Cloud's recovery way more exploitable in this game. Actually, at the at the ending part of his up, you can actually guarantee stage bike Cloud. So we saw we saw a lot of players do that on Sweet Spot up B. So we'll see if Sonic is proficient at that. I mean, obviously, Sonic can go hard off stage against any character here. So the Buzz really wants to hold on to limit not only for that movement speed buff and that buff neutral on stage, but just making sure when the Buzz does get sent off stage, we'll have that limit up B. Ooh, great coverage there. Yeah, and Cloud did very well in this matchup historically throughout uh, Smash 4. So good counter pick overall for the Buzz for sure. Okay, off stage. Oh, wow. There. And saves the limit. Yeah, that was kind of one of the things that you'd run into with Clouds in Smash 4. It was like, okay, are you going to be risky and you're going to try and save that? Or are you going to try, you know, are you just going to be safe and use it to get back? And to Buzz Greed paying off a little bit there. I need, to, I need to see more back airs coming out from the Buzz, man. Wait, with the finishing oh. touch. Here we come. The falling up air, rising up air, best move in the game, arguably, apart from some other ones. Have One of the best moves. Set. <laughs> <laughs> best cloud move, maybe. Oh, a voice of spring. Wow. I remember you get in, you get infinite limit here. You can just keep it in your pocket as long as you want. Okay, blade beam, the buzz down in percentage, but Sonic extremely light here. Almost has limit on deck as well, so this is going to be really good for this tail end of this first stock here. Gets the limit, air dodges to the ground. Watch the neutral air dodges. There is lag on them in this game. <laughs> That's crazy to see. Okay, edge guard attempt. Spring. Oh, not being able to deck that on Wi-Fi. That is so tough. Uh, it's it, teching things in this game is actually quite a bit harder too. It, it feels like you can't buffer the techs at all. You you really have to be consistent on the time. No, is he dead? Uh, oh, wait, I'm yeah. sorry. Actually, we're, oh we're, wow. We're, we're not playing Ooh. ultimate. My, my I'm surprised bad. we didn't see like runoff back air from Sonic to get the untechable there. Oh, right. I forgot. It's it's straight up unteckable at the end of his LP, right? Yeah. Yeah. So runoff back okay, air was insanely wow. good against Cloud. Because in that situation, the Buzz didn't really have any timing mix-ups because he just got force matched out of his double jump. So I thought Sonic was going to line up with runoff back air. Yeah. But there is counterplay to that, too, because Cloud could reverse the up B to put the slash on the outside. So th there is still there is still layers to it. Right. Okay, and this is always the tough part. Like, you're, you're Cloud, you do have the speed and you can keep up with Sonic, but you're not only just playing against Sonic, you're playing against Sonics, and his movement is just cleaner than most Sonics. Um, so chasing him down is going to be a problem here. Yeah, and I mean, it, it, it's so tempting too because Limit Cross Slash killed so early in this game, but you want to keep the limit. Oh, hit him with the same thing. We on Wi-Fi, baby. Wow. <laughs> okay, but is uh -oh. it enough? Good, good. Call out there, down there. Hold on a second. It's last stock. Wait a minute. The buzz utilizing the infamous pogo stick. Full hop down air. Very, very strong. I feel like this is so tense, and, and maybe it shouldn't be that tense with what Sonic's percent is, but but Cloud in this game really could take one or two openings and, and turn them into something huge. And you can tell the buzz is scheming for this limit here. Yeah, a couple more hits or even a falling up air in the finishing touch will do the trick. So there are some options. Finishing Fair touch. Get stuffed out. If he can land this somehow, I don't know how you do it against Sonics because this man never gets hit by anything that like massive. But um, well, he, some percent is suddenly pretty even. Oh, yes. And Cloud's grab was insane in this game. Yes. Something that he does not have an ultimate. Has one of the worst or one of the not so great grabs in the game. So this game was so difficult to fight against Cloud because Cloud conditioned shield so well because he has the best hitboxes in the game. And then he would just snatch you up. Uh oh, you do have double jump here. Okay. Has to use the Force limit. To use limit. OK. Rage is building for Cloud. 
Nair out of shield. Oh, big back air. He's going to live, though. There's no limit. Oh, slashes through the spring with the early up beat. The buzz. Staying oh, big in. down this smash. Down smash. Not enough center stage. Oh. Oh, wake up, will you wake up? We're waking up. 30 seconds left. Down, 30 down. seconds left, and it's realized. Oh, it's my God. Hit. It's one hit. And the buzz will have up, be out of shield as He's well. He's got a little rip. Air. Oh, let's go. Oh, Dang, he rips there. it. Dang, the buzz rips it twice, three times. 15 seconds. <laughs> he knows that time's coming. Oh, ah! uh, and Sonic might just take the... Oh, my God. The Five. The grab? Five. It's over. Four, three, oh, oh, you needed it. Yeah, you had to take the spin dash. God. There is no now, way. Now, this oh, is Smash 4. Boys. Time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, wow. you know, I, I respect it. You do need to make something happen there, and you know, got to put it out there at some point. I, I, I certainly wasn't expecting the blade beam into run full stage dash attack. Uh, <laughs> so I can't imagine Sonic's was either there. Into run into the center of the stage. Of but Smash, dude, the but cloud was it. working, <laughs> low key. It was really working. Yeah, I used to tell everyone in Smash Four, your cloud's better than you think. Oh, jeez. Well, where to now? I, I'm more surprised that Sonics went for grab like twice in a row at yeah, the end there. Did. Like, maybe he didn't see the timer. I'm not too sure. But usually in that position, Sonic will run to the other side of the stage because he could get there faster than most characters and just start charging. Yeah, it was really Sonic was a better give it grab up. into just grab again and the second grab working too. I'm curious what the buzz went for there for or on the grab. Maybe he tried to punish and you know moved his hurt, hurt box into it or something. Yeah, probably. Okay. Waiting for DeBuzz's counter pick here. DeBuzz is is saying in chat that you need to SD faster because he needs every second. <laughs> I'm just I just saw that in Twitch chat there. You need to SD faster. Uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, like, sir. Every second counts. Yes, sir. I will do it. <laughs> I'm gonna. Is there a faster character than Puff to SD with? Maybe I should go Sonic uh, 2? You can... Fox? Who's, he who's the fastest and he's character the fastest to SD with? In the game. Fox. Alright. So you just run off fastball? I'll go Fox. I just want to see Fox, but I'm pretty sure he's like pretty quick. Alright. So the question is, is the buzz going to go Cloud or Rosa here? Ooh, run off Sonic there. That's a good one in chat. Oh, Sonic there? Yeah, but come on, we want to see Fox, bro. Come on, <laughs> Chad, we gotta choose. We need we, the buzz needs every second. <laughs> Actually, you know what? For the buzz, go Sonic, bro. I want to see my boy Fox, but for the buzz, every every second counts, bro. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go Sonic down there, Smash. Bro. Oh, cut! Yeah, turn on customs and go Politano. <laughs> That's the fastest way. <laughs> oh wait, I'm already puffed. Sure I'm the already puffed. I already choked. That's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll go fast. I'll go fast. I just, I just realized this, this, this is, a, this is a game of, of second. It's all right. The buzz be like, I would have won then if I had four more seconds. I mean, <laughs> if I had time for another run up smash attack. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, I'll do a game five. Um, I see Rosa. Okay. Okay. Rosa I mean, on Smashville is the play. I'm gonna run off the stage. Here we go. One, go. I mean, his his only game won. It was with Rosa, so that makes sense. There we go. All right. Seven seconds it took, pretty much. All right. Yeah, and I'm so excited to see who actually manages to take the first little interaction here because it has felt pretty one-sided for the person who's ahead just being able to force that other person to approach and you know put themselves in a little bit riskier of situations and, and sonic's already kind of taking his time here with the, the little lead he's built <laughs> okay up and over here and it looks like we're going to smash though now this used to be the starter stage oh the buzz okay you have to hit the angle nice and maybe the buzz just opting for smashville because Wants less room for Sonics to work with here. 
It could be. But maybe he just he likes the fact that it's open every once in a while. I'm trying to remember what Sonic's band earlier. But it's, you know, it, it's kind of refreshing to just have a, a stage list that's only five stages. It's just very simple. Yes, I am a fan. I think Japan even ran three stages in Smash 4, if I'm not mistaken, or at least there was that a, a certainly sounds right. I'm still a fan of small battlefield only for ultimate. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's Luma gone here. Sonic's with a, with a very strong early lead wow. here. That spin dash in the back air. Sonic's just fighting now. Oh, Texas stage. Gotta be careful there. <laughs> yeah, that Smashville platform actually working decently well there for DeBuzz too. Just being a place he can escape to and wait for Luma, Rose, or for Luma to come back. Wait for your little friend. There's a chance we might have a Mario Ditto in quarters. I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised Mario got this far. Two Nesses and two Marios. Yeah, even Ness. Oh my goodness, Ness was, yeah, was like okay, but oh no! Oh my! Wow! What? Back throw wow. kills from like center stage. Set point for Sonic's over the buzz in Smash Four. Let's see it. That back throw was messed up. Oh the double! Wow. Oh. Almost such a really good setup. Up a stock, guys. You know what happens now. Dang, he's up a stock and he's dash attacking. <laughs> in the wrong game. <laughs> yeah. Sonic's is different in Smash 4. Oh, there's yeah, the back air. Luma dead. Yeah. And that's from Luma's center stage. Like the buzz had center stage, was trying to zone out. And again, you just see how crazy Sonic is in this game because he's one of the few characters where you're in the corner and you have so much options. I don't know if there's a double jump. Oh, there is a double. Nice coming out from the buzz. Ooh, has to go for the upbeat. No directional air dodge to ledge. Oh, Luma tanking the spring, though. That ought to almost kill there, too. This is a long road for DeBuzz, but if anybody's going to be able to do it, DeBuzz with those tournament, uh, you know, nerves of steel. Hey, just just remember, Luma Luma can get the KO at 0%, so the buzz is still in this. Or just get needs KO'd to get zero percent I think she just yeah. took one hit and just slowly drifted oh. off stage there. Oh, but the downer! I respect the double. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the forward throw correctly. That's Wait. it. Wow. That's it. Sonic's correctly. two stock 3 1. Once again, Sonic's in winner's finals, regardless of the game. Incredible. Damn. Forward throw is messed up. Oh my goodness. That was insane. Yeah, right in the corner. Because the buzz looked like he DI'd that correctly because his blast marker was in the corner. Well, look, wow. guys. There's only one thing I can tell you. There might only be one person in this bracket who can stop the 